Keck USC offers a comprehensive program at the treatment of all aspects of arrhythmia disorders. I'm especially proud of the fact that we have expertise in all areas of electrophysiology, which is a very broad and diverse uh, and technology-driven field uh, encompassing uh, cardiac implantable devices, uh, heart failure sensors and other uh, such modalities, as well as ablations ranging from the most uh, simple to the absolutely most complex. From the outpatient perspective, um, when they come in, the first person they experience is with our patient navigators. I work with electrophysiologists in getting all the information, getting the records, and seeing how they're doing, and working with our electrophysiologists to see what are the best treatment options at that time, and if they need further diagnostic testing or making recommendations for interventions at that time. A nurse practitioner on an EP service can do inpatient and outpatient consultations, follow-up procedures, and also post-procedure follow-ups, and basically ensure the EP service runs smoothly. One of the particularly unique features at CAC USC is that we work very closely with all of our other colleagues within the realm of cardiovascular medicine, whether it's cardiothoracic surgeons, interventional cardiologists, or specialists in structural heart disease, uh, folks that specialize in imaging modalities such as echocardiography or more advanced cardiac imaging, uh, we offer their own expertise within our field of electrophysiology and I think the collaboration within our division is especially unique. Unique collaboration within the field of electrophysiology allows for a whole host of unique therapies. Uh, for example, we can meld implantable device uh, therapy, which is a common part of electrophysiology, with unique sensors and sensor technology. We perform research both in implantable devices, in sensor technology, and in ablation technology, as well as the incorporation of other areas uh, such as things traditionally in the realm of structural heart disease to the field of electrophysiology. So arrhythmias in adult congenital heart disease is the probably the fastest growing area of clinical investigation and clinical care for both pediatric and adult electrophysiologists. Keck has been a leader in this area by first and foremost having a formal and comprehensive care program for adult patients with congenital heart disease. I think when patients have an arrhythmia problem, um, they commonly don't realize that they need to explore many other health issues at the same time. For example, did they ever smoke? Do they have high blood pressure? Are they taking other right medications? Do they have a healthy lifestyle? And what we also try to do is not just the procedure for each patient, but we try to actually tackle it in a comprehensive way. So I think uh, our strength at our medical center also is that we have some um, helpful uh, you know, research personnel who can work with patients and they can notice little things about their sleep disorders, about their snoring, about their history of smoking, which intuitively we would not necessarily associate with arrhythmias, but these seem to have a big role and the more we understand it, the more we can help patients. Because, for example, treating snoring has been shown to actually help uh, uh, quite a bit with some types of arrhythmias. Advanced cardiac imaging, predominantly CT and MRI, allows us to create a three-dimensional patient avatar uh, that allows us to pre-plan uh, the best approaches uh, to electrophysiology procedures. So, 3D printing uh, allows the operator to have a three-dimensional tactile sense of complex cardiovascular anatomy, particularly important in congenital heart disease. I think digital health is really the future of electrophysiology. I think 80% of our patients will be taken care of outside the walls of the hospital because we'll be able to use wireless sensors, smartphones, and be able to diagnose them where they have an arrhythmia when and understand the exact context of that event. In 2015, the Center for Body Computing founded this concept called the Virtual Care Clinic. That's a new paradigm supported by digital tools and wireless communication where patients are taken care of outside the walls of a medical center. Our research in digital health and EP patients has shown us that patients actually prefer 
digital methods of care compared to in-person point visits because this is a continuous model of care that they can take with them wherever they go enabled by their smartphones. Uh, as we continue to grow and as we continue to develop as well as build on our physical plant and infrastructure uh, we can offer more and more diverse solutions uh, for patients suffering from arrhythmia disorders.